you black bitch Gwen Eiffel, you're for sale. Show me the video of you going to Ferguson, Missouri. Show me the video of you going to Eric Garner's people for real, bitch. Show me the video of you marching with your black brothers and sisters at a Black Lives Matter protest anywhere in America, bitch. Right now, I want to see the video, for real. You're for sale, Gwen Eiffel, for real. You're just a fucking puppet, bitch. You're a prostitute, Rachel Maddow, and you're a super PAC, and you're a lobbyist, and you're for sale. If the price is right, Rachel Maddow, I could buy you for real. You're for sale, Bill O'Reilly, like, seriously, because your station played pro-Hillary Clinton ads and stuff. You would have endorsed Hillary Clinton if the price was right, too, dude. Like, seriously. You're just a prostitute, Bill O'Reilly. Like, I had to move to China tomorrow and get me a job. Like, seriously, because I tell you what, I, I'm not, I'm not going to settle for a McDonald's job. Like, seriously, because I would rather work in a sweatshop. There's more dignity in making the things that you people buy at Walmart than working at a fucking McDonald's, like, seriously, because I don't care if it pays five cents an hour, like, seriously. I wonder how many hours in China I'd have to work to come up with a bag of Tucci, like, K2 and shit, because they make that shit over there, like, seriously, because, like, I bet you I'd probably have to work all day for a bag of Tucci, but you know what? That's cool. That's cool, kids. Like, I, I'm good with that, because Tucci's legal out in China, like, seriously, because... China's where it's at. I don't know if you people knew that or not. This place is a fucking ghost town, like, for real, kids. And you people just elected Trump, like, no, kids. A vote for me, China, like, Terry 2016 as your Chinese president, like, let's cut America off, like, seriously, kids. You people would be dumb enough to vote for a president thinking, like, oh, yeah, it's the good old 90s again. We can go collect SSI and Social Security and shop at good old Walmart because it's the American dream. Like, that's not what you elected, kids, but that's what you people were dumb enough to fall for. Like, that's the impression you gave you people. No, dude, Donald Trump's going to cut all your fucking Social Security off for real, kids. So I want all those fat obese people that live in Florida and live in Texas and Oklahoma and Kansas that get Social Security, Donald Trump's going to say, like, no more for real kids. And you people are going to end up being homeless like Terry 2016 was at one time for real kids. And you people are going to be like, damn, what did we just do? We just voted against ourselves is what we did. And you people gave a rich man an upper hand. Like, didn't you people learn anything from Mayor Bloomberg and his fucking race? on how he, he was a crooked politician in New York and he worked for a dollar a year like because he had like $30 billion in the bank and he left New York City with a fucking mountain of debt and he got filthy rich off that shit too but like he only worked a dollar a year like whatever kids. There's things called legislation and shit you people don't even look at. So yeah, his salary was a dollar a year, but he made a shitload more off New York City for real kids. And you people are dumb enough to vote for a billionaire that's like, oh yeah, he cares. Like, whatever, kid. We'll see how much he fucking cares when you get your fucking disability cut off and shit. And he says, you know what, fat obese motherfucker, you are capable of working. You're just lazy and shit. Like, seriously, that's what you people voted for on the super PACs. And all that shit, Terry 2016, like, whatever. Whatever, fuck you, Hillary Clinton, like, seriously. You'll get over your election loss, bitch. You got fucking $300 million, Hillary Clinton. You'll get over it, bitch, like, seriously. So, like, America, I donated $2 to Donald Trump's campaign after he won the election, like, seriously. And I want to say, like, hi, Terry. Your donation was successfully made to Donald Trump for president. I donated $2 out of my Social Security check to Donald Trump, like, for real, dude. After he won the election, of course. Because now, Donald Trump, you got Social Security, this so-called wasteful program that wastes money and is going to go bankrupt. 
funding your little campaign, Donald Trump, like, seriously. And it's a little late to say, like, oh, let's give homeless man his money back and stuff. Because I'll tell you what, Donald Trump, you can give me that money back with interest, for real dead. Um, but no, you can keep it, Donald. I gave it to you, like, because you're the president now and stuff like that, like, seriously. But I did just want to say that, you know, I did care about the stupid campaign a little bit. About this much. But yeah, I, I, I gave you $2 that I could have used myself, Donald Trump, like, seriously. So you can't call me a terrorist and shit like that because I funded your campaign. You accept money from terrorists. Way to go, Donald Trump. You know, I'm in Madison, Wisconsin right now, and I don't give a fuck how many Democrats live here. This place is still a red state to me, like, seriously. I will never, ever come back to the state of Wisconsin ever again, kids. And I will not spend $1 on any of your Wisconsin companies for real, dude. And I'm urging all Democrats to do the same, but it's not required for real kids. Because it is a free country, but it's a free country that I can take my dollars and not spend it at your little Starbucks. Because you got Republicans working there, like seriously, kids. I'm not going to take this and go to your little movie. I'm not taking this and buying your little cup of tea. I'm not taking this to your supermarket and all that. I am taking this and getting the fuck out of your red state. Like, seriously, kids. And I'm never coming back. And when I come back to New York, I'm going to tell all my friends, too, that and everybody in New York, I'm like, look at that electoral map before you plan your next trip. Like, seriously, kids. Oh, come to Wisconsin. Come to Michigan. Like, Michigan, are you a blue state or are you a red state? Because that's going to determine whether or not I'm going to come visit you people. Like, seriously. You people got your fucking Republican senators, Republican governors, Republican congressmen and shit like that. Why the fuck am I going to want to come to your little state of Wisconsin? Eat an Applebee's. They got Applebee's in New York. That's Hillary Clinton's state. Like, for real, dude. Um, to eat a TGA Fridays, they got one in Chicago, that's a blue state, like, for real, I'll go there, like, seriously, I'm dead serious, too, kids, it's your money, and you can choose to support ignorance if you want, but I'm choosing progressive side, like, seriously, boycott those, um, Republican states and see how good they do, like, seriously, kids, you people think this shit's a fucking game, the power of money controls everything, for real, dude, let's flood them out. Alex Jones, I have been listening to you and your stupid info wars for over 10 years, preaching about a new world order is coming and trying to warn us and shit for real. Well, the whole time, you people were secretly for that shit for real, dude, because you people screwed Clinton out of an election and gave the new world order to Donald Trump for real. You're a sellout and you're a fat piece of shit. For you fucking Alex Jones, for real, dude. Come down and fucking explain yourself to homeless man for president and shit. Like, seriously, you fucking coward. Why don't you go stuff your face with some more fucking food? Because I'll tell you what, they're not gonna pay to see your little info wars if you're fucking skinny, Alex Jones. No, people are paying to see your stupid program because they want to see a blubbering fat man, not a blubbering skinny man, for real, Alex Jones. Let me just give you people an update and shit, like, hi everybody, it's Terry 2016 for president and stuff, like, um, I still have not called Donald Trump to concede to him, it's probably because, like, I can't get through to his security people, and I tried to call Crooked Hillary, and her, t her people wouldn't call let me concede to her either. So, like, I'm still in this race and the election is not over, like, for real kids. Vote for me, homeless man, for president. You people can still take your, um, what do you call it back? Your, um, vote back and re-vote for me if you people want, like, seriously. Or you can re-vote for Clinton, too. Um, because I still have not conceded out of this race yet because these so-called important people, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump are so busy now that the election's over. You know, Hillary Clinton's in the woods crying. She's in the woods in tears. I'll show you a picture. No time to pick up the phone. And be like, hey, Terry2016, you ran against me, homeless man. I acknowledge your campaign, and I'm going to put you on my 
friends on the CNN and my friends on the Fox News and my friends on the Super PACs and all that shit, Terry 2016, like, whatever. Whatever, fuck you, Hillary Clinton, like, seriously. You'll get over your election loss, bitch. You got fucking $300 million, Hillary Clinton. You'll get over it, bitch, like, seriously. No, America's never gonna pay you back 100% of that debt, like, seriously. Giving Donald Trump, Adolf Hitler, whoever the fuck's in power, like, seriously, kids, Hillary Clinton. Uh, you Chinese people are suckers and shit, like, seriously, for loaning us that money, knowing that we're never going to pay you people back in full. We, we may give you, like, a little bit of it, but, like, for the most part of it, like, you're missing out on that much of it, China. Like, thanks for the free money, China, like, seriously. I wonder if China paid for these cigarettes I'm smoking. Like, thanks for the cigarettes, bitch. <laughs> so get off the, the CD. Like, Americans, you don't even know how to make a stupid pair of socks. Like, way to go, Texas. Way to go, Oklahoma. Way to go, Kansas. Way to go, California and Pennsylvania. All those places. For real. Yeah, kids, your, your little shit at Walmart that you buy is still going to be made in China because it's cheaper in, in China. You don't have to hear Americans bitch and complain about conditions and benefits and pay raises and minimum wage cuts and all that shit. I was talking to somebody on a bus that wanted to have a dream, an American dream of becoming a designer, a fashion designer, having their own clothes line. And I said, you want to be diva, bitch? I'll show you how to be diva. You open up a sweatshop in China like that Kardashian woman. That's diva. For real. Do you really think Kim Kardashian would have her purses and shit made here in, China, in America? I, I said China. Like, it might as well be for real. But honestly, do you really think Kim Kardashian would have Americans out in um, Oregon making her expensive purses? at the rate of $20 an hour, like, noted. Because first of all, how many hours would it take for one American to make a purse? Probably like 50 or 1,000. Meanwhile, you got Chinese people that are willing to work for five cents an hour. And they're, they're, they know how to crank out 100 bags in one hour, like seriously. You'll never get that from a lazy American, like seriously, kids. Donald Trump is just a front and a fraud and a con artist and everything Mayor Bloomberg says he is for real, dude. And honestly, you people say, shut the fuck up to me. All you people want, but hey, I'm not the one that called him a con artist. Mayor Bloomberg did. So you people tell Mayor Bloomberg, shut the fuck up for real, dude. Um, no, Donald Trump, you're not bringing shit back for real. And... You know, China's got the upper hand, and you people were dumb enough to give China the upper hand by electing Barack Obama the food stamp president. Like, and you know, that's another reason Clinton lost, because she tied herself to Barack Obama. She said, oh, let's continue the food stamp legacy. The legacy of niggers gone wild and shit, like, seriously. And, like, America said, like, no, dude. We are finished with that shit. We will never elect another black president. I don't care if he's a Republican or not. You people are, would be dumb enough to elect another black president and expect different results. Like, seriously. And, you know, no, I'm not a terrorist, kids. I'm an actor. I'm a performer for real kids. It's called free speech, like, seriously. I'm gay. They would never accept me in Islam. Like, seriously, kids. Do you really believe... Did you really believe that I was part of ISIS and shit? Like, seriously, the whole time? Were you people dumb enough to really believe that stuff? Whatever, kids. And so, uh, Donald Trump, are you going to open up a PlayStation 4 factory and start making Xboxes and PlayStations here in America? Whatever, kids. Your PS4 is five years from now or is still going to be made in China. Like, seriously, kids. You people were dumb enough to elect those people. Like, seriously. They promised change and shit. So did Barack Obama eight years ago. And look what happened. Like, seriously, kids. You'll never be as rich as Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump's kids. Like, seriously. And you people are dumb enough to believe it. Oh. Well, if I go to college and if I work really hard... 
And if I apply myself, like, I'll, I'll apply yourself to China because that's where the jobs are. Like, seriously, kids. 